Hi, honey. Your mum and I appreciate you looking after the place. You know your mum. She worries when you're by yourself. Cat food is in the usual place. If you call us for anything, call me on my cell. And don't forget to lock the doors. She'll be fine. Okay, sweetie, try to enjoy yourself. Do you think it's a good idea that she's alone in the house right now? It's been six months. She has to start getting back to normal, and what better way than in the home she grew up in? It's familiar, she knows her way around. But it hasn't been that long since what happened at the hospital. Do you really think it will be good for her to be in a place with all those memories after what he did to her? We don't talk about the accident, remember? He's no longer a part of our lives or hers. If we can't move on, how can Audrey? I still can't believe how unsympathetic he was about the whole thing. You remember how close they were? How she used to follow him around everywhere? They were practically brother and sister. I remember. That's always going to be a part of her life. But she has to look to the future. And she's better off in the comfort of her home than she is in a sterile hospital with people feeling sorry for her. Dr. Arkin, <laughs> taking my eyesight wasn't enough for you? What happened to your eyesight in the hospital was officially an accident. But to me, it was destiny. We were made for each other, Audrey. And I take great pleasure knowing that I was the last 
person you ever saw. Knowing that you only have eyes for me. But that is not enough. I can't allow your heart to beat for another. Ugh! <sighs> 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 <sighs>